Hey guys, Mighty Fit here with just a little bonus feed to Beast Horizons instead of the Minecraft mod on Monday. This is because I was going to do the Gulvers mod, but um, it I couldn't actually get it to work. So I'm just going to show you what I actually done off camera of uh, the mods. Now this is what you'll see after episode 9. Now these things have spawned, this Moonstone ore, uh, there's one here and one over there, uh, oh, over there, so um, like in starting of episode 10 I'll probably mine these. Um, sadly, the when I was off camera I forgot to put it into peaceful mode and um, the dogs died. So, yeah, because um, they actually um, went to attack a monster and fell in the spike pit, which I have finished with the full five uh, things. Also updated the farms. I've uh, got all signs saying what it is. Also I've built this massive farm over here and deforestated, deforestated this entire area. Now this bit out here is just because the cantaloupes wouldn't fit in. But um, I've got all these here. What I did find out is if you right click, I don't think any of these are ready. Oh wait, oh yeah, if you right click um, the heart comes up to tell you that they're mature. So um, that's a good way to tell when my plants are ready. So, yeah, like, I've got all the crops here with this farm and the little seed boxes on it as well and all the signs tell me what it is. Really, and apart from expanding the mine a little bit, that's all I've really done off camera and obviously, as you can see, expen extended the house. Now, the reason, once again, the reason I'm showing you this is just because I couldn't get the Minecraft Mod Monday mod that I wanted to do working. It's, and oh yeah, um, this, this is annoying. I can't move this, because that, if I move that, it crashes Minecraft for some reason. But apart from that, everything else is done. The house is still kind of crap and kind of narrow, but, yeah, I'll fix it. But we've done that. An idea I did have... Um, for the mine was I could use this as a sort of rail hub underground network thing to kind of go back and forward like obviously like this would be the um, whatever way that way whatever way that way is hold on yeah this would be the east west line and then obviously I could have a north south line running the other way but then I remembered that in survival mode, rails cost a lot. I mean, like, every so often I need a powered rail, um, which obviously is gold and redstone and detect rails as redstone and stuff as well, and even normal rails, you still need iron. So it would be very resource heavy, so <laughs> it would take a while. But uh, we'll see what we can do. Now, so pretty much this is just the update of what I've been doing off camera because I couldn't get the mod to work. Um, I will probably see you next time. Like I said, you won't see this in the actual series until episode 10 because this has all been done after that recording session. So, yeah. It's quite fun though because um, what I did find out is that there, that farm there, isn't even all the crops. There is a lot more. Like, pretty much, if I find it in the wild, like, um, the candleberry bushes and stuff, yeah, that's a crop you can grow. So, yeah, I also did find out that there is saplings for the food trees. You know, the ones that grow, like, the apples and plums and stuff. I don't know how to get the saplings. I need to look on the Harvest Craft wiki, but it does turn out Oh, that um, you can get them. I know if you place bone meal on the ground, um, you get the sort of weed things, and then they randomly spawn. So that might be a way to get them. But it's if you break them, it's whether you get the uh, <laughs> sapling or not. So I'll need to check it before I try that. But anyway, guys, I will... See you later. And I hope you have a good one.